work out problem number 22. Find the equation of a line that is parallel to the line x plus 4y equals 8. So we have x plus 4y equals 8. So our line is parallel to this line and passes through the point 3 comma negative 1. So we're given the point. So we have to find the equation of a line that's parallel to this line here and passes through this point. So to find the equation of a line, we need two things. We need a point and a slope. So we've already got the point, we just need the slope. So to find the slope, all we have to do is solve this for y. And since our lines are parallel, we know they should have the same slope. So to solve this for y, we can start by subtracting x. So we get 4y equals, and then 8 minus x. And then just divide by 4. So we get y equals 8 over 4 is 2. We can write this as minus 1 fourth x. You can rearrange this if you like. You can write it as minus 1 fourth x plus 2. So mx plus b, that's the form. So m here is equal to negative 1 fourth because our line is parallel to this line. So the slope of our line is the same as the slope of this line. Parallel lines have the same slope. To finish, we'll just use the point-slope formula. So the point-slope formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This will be y, let's see, so y1 is negative 1, and x1 is 3. So we're doing y minus negative 1, so negative and negative is positive. And then m is negative 1 fourth. And this is x minus 3. All right, um, so one way to do this is to get rid of the fractions. So I'll do it that way. So to get rid of the fraction, we'll multiply by 4 on both sides. So here we'll get 4y plus 4. These will cancel, and then we'll distribute the negative 1. So we'll end up with negative x, and then negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Almost there. Now we can subtract 4 from both sides. So we get 4y equals negative x minus 1. And to finish, you just divide by 4. So divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. Boom. You get y equals negative 1 fourth x minus 1 fourth. All right, let's see if that's one of the choices. Let's see. Negative 1 fourth x minus 1 fourth. Yep, yep, it is. It's B. So the answer is B. I hope that helps.